What's up, Tech Gang? Stefan here from TechRite. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing and first impressions of the new Motorola Moto G Stylus. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hope everyone is safe out there. We got a new phone in the house. Um, I've been expecting this for a second, so really excited to finally unbox this. But this is the 2021 Moto G Stylus from Motorola. Um, not sure why they didn't say Moto G Stylus 2 or maybe switch up the name just a little bit. But I guess they just put the 2021 in front of it and they called it a day. Before I start off with a few of the specifications or the main specifications, uh, this device was about 300 bucks. Uh, and I believe this is going to be released for the prepaid carriers as well. So that being Metro by T-Mobile, Cricket Wireless, and Boost Mobile. Um, also, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 678. This also has a 4,000 milliamp battery, which is pretty nice as well. Um, and we have a 6.8 inch 1080p LCD screen on this device as well. So this isn't going to be an AMOLED display. Uh, but other than that, let's go further into this device. Super excited about this. All right, everyone, so we have the phone right here. We're gonna go ahead and take off the top right here. Uh, and I believe this is called the Aora White. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but let's go and put that to the side. Next thing we have in the box is this little thing that holds pamphlets right here. So we have our SIM card ejector tool right here. Next, our legal and safety guide, and we have our quick start guide as well. Next inside of here, we have our wall charger, and we also have our USB Type-C data cable. All right, everyone, so finally getting inside of the phone, we have this beautiful white on the back right here. We have that reflective back as well. Uh, we have the Motorola emblem right here. Just above that, we have our camera setup. Our main camera is going to be a 48 megapixel uh, camera, and we're also going to have this weird looking LED flash and this is going to be a protruding camera So uh, I would definitely recommend putting a case on this device uh, If you can I believe there's gonna be a lot of cases in between the five to ten dollar range for this device So you guys should be able to pick one up pretty Affordably taking a look at the right side of the device we have our volume up and down rocker pretty much flush to the side or the right side of the phone just below that we have our power button that actually doubles as a fingerprint sensor and I believe this is actually plastic so no aluminum here uh, left side of the phone we are going to have our sim tray bottom of the phone we are going to have our 3.5 millimeter head jack our USB type C port our noise canceling mic, our speaker, and our new pen that we get in the phone. And we're gonna check that out in just a second. But going to the top of the phone, we're gonna have our noise canceling mic all by itself up there. And that is pretty much the entire phone, but we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. All right, everyone, so we booted up the phone right here. We have the Moto G Stylus in hand. And just a few things, uh, we do have a front-facing camera right there. I believe it's going to be a 16 megapixel shooter. Uh, and that is actually going to be a hole punch camera. And I love that they made that decision. I'm tired of seeing those little water drop notches because they're just very, very dated. You know, they've been out since 2018. So glad they've got into something else with this. But really quick, I want to go ahead and take a look at the fingerprint sensor. I just want to go ahead and test this out. Three, two, one, go. So pretty accurate right there. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go and three, two, one, go. So this is going to be a pretty accurate and a quick fingerprint sensor as well. Um, we have our Moto Actions in here, as you guys know with all Motorola phones, so you guys have some special things you can do uh, only on Motorola devices. Let's go into a few of the gestures. We have quick capture, power touch, fast flashlight, three finger screenshot, lift to unlock, and we also have pick up to silence, flip DND, and swipe to split. Um, I do want to try the flashlight one because that is my favorite. I feel like it's the coolest feature about this device, but even if you have the device off, you can go ahead and chop like that and the flashlight comes on. That is actually a very bright flashlight, so that's great to see that there. Going down to the drop down menu, uh, we have Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, all the regular stuff. Uh, when you go further into the edit tab right here, as you guys see, we have location, hotspot, invert colors, dark theme. 
Uh, so we do have dark theme. Let's go ahead and take share feedback and put the dark theme up there really quick. And we also have selfie, audio effects, uh, bedtime mode, focus mode, storage. So let's get out of this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the dark mode really quick, see how that looks. Dark theme right there. Yeah, that looks much, much better. Um, in my opinion, I think the dark mode looks great on every Android phone. This is running Android 10.0 out of the box. Uh, so kind of sucks that we didn't get 11, but hopefully we get that update soon. Um, I do want to go ahead and check out the cameras, but first and foremost, I want to go and check out the speakers and see how the screen looks on YouTube. All right, everyone, so getting into the display, uh, we're going to go on the quality settings right here, and we're on YouTube. Uh, it goes up to 1080p HDR, it looks like, so that's great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this, though, and we're going to show you how loud the speaker is and how good the screen is. Um, one thing really quick, it looks like they took the front facing speaker away, which actually sucks. Uh, they used to put in the headset, I believe on the last one, as well as the Moto G power. So all of the angles on this phone are really, really good. Um, the screen looks beautiful, honestly, for 1080p LCD and the blacks on this device are actually pretty deep as well. So, um, you know. The dark mode is going to look good and watching movies and you know TV shows and stuff is going to be very enjoyable on this device. Um, and also the speaker. The speaker doesn't really lack even taking away that front facing um, you know headset speaker but really like the bottom facing speaker. Um, just hope that next time they put that front headset speaker back on there. Now, last thing I want to go and take a look at is the camera on this device. As you guys can see, we have our setup on the back right here. We have a quad camera setup, the first being a 48 megapixel f1.7 wide camera, uh, and that's going to be our PDAF camera, and the secondary being an 8 megapixel f2.2 aperture ultra wide camera, our third being our 2 megapixel f2.2 macro camera, we also have a depth camera as well to the right. As you guys can see right there, that's two megapixels. Um, but we're gonna go and take a few photos and we're gonna see how this looks. And I'm pretty much gonna give you my brief opinions on what I think about this, but let's go and take a couple of pictures. All right, everyone, so I took a couple of pictures right here. Um, this camera is actually pretty crisp, as you guys can see. Uh, the temperature does tend to differ, it looks like, so um, it looks like it's kind of sensitive uh, to the light. But the macro camera on this device works beautifully. Getting into video or recording mode, I just want to go and check out and see. So it looks like we can use 4K. So we can use 4K on this device as well as 1080p 60 frames per second. So that's nice to see. We also have some other modes in this camera. We have portrait, cutout, spot color, night vision, cinemagraph, panorama, group selfie, live filter, pro mode. Um, probably gonna try that out later when I do my photo comparisons. We also have slow motion, time lapse, and spot color. So that's, that's pretty cool. We're gonna go into depth in a whole other video about those. Uh, really excited to check those out and it looks like we have our Google Lens on this device as well So that's cool if you want to go and look up something uh, If it's a product all you have to do is go ahead and Search right there and you can find the product as you guys see Logitech Marathon M705 and that is the exact Mouse that this device is so that is a really helpful feature um, but this camera actually looks pretty solid so far. I can't wait to go outside and check out, you know, nature with this camera and see how good it is. Really quick, I just want to go and show you guys um, how the stylus works on this device. And also the stylus is going to be a lot heavier. So I'm thinking this is going to be made out of titanium. Uh, and we also have that clicking feature that the Stylo 6 and the Note series has. So that's great to see. Uh, but when we open up our stylus or take it out of the device, uh, we have a few modes right here. We can take notes, we can take screenshots. Um, it looks like we have a little art booklet right here, uh, coloring book. So if you want to give this to your kid for a second, you can go ahead and do that. And we also have this, which goes directly to the camera. Um, but going back in here, we can actually edit all of these shortcuts so we can minus or take those out and we can add new ones up here. So if we want to add the camera, go ahead and add the camera, go ahead and add FM radio. Why not? And 
YouTube right here. Get out of the shortcuts, and every time you pop this open, you're gonna have those shortcuts right there. So I thought that was a really cool feature. Um, but we're gonna go further into detail about this device in the review and many other videos. But if there's a specific video that you guys want me to do on this device, definitely leave it in the comment section down below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not a part of the tech gang already. Also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Stefan from Sacrite. Peace out, tech gang.